until it goes from the freezer to the oven to the table. Remote control. Thanks, Mr. Quinn, if I may do so far. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, let's check this. Scoring first round was rather exciting. Robert, and he has 35 points each. Stacey has five. Same deal in round two. Let's start off. Robert, you have control. I'll go back to channel number three. <laughs> channel three. My sleazy stepfather is back from beauty school, and he's got a brand new career and a brand new pile of gossip. Listen up. Hey, you know, over in England, Princess Di isn't too happy with Prince Charles. Uh, seems she thought that all rulers had 12 inches, huh? <laughs> and Prince Andrew. He marries this chick, and I guess her finger was leaking, because as soon as she got her ring on, she blew up like the Goodyear blimp. What is the name of her royal finest? Robert. Fergie. Yeah, yeah we'll take it. Yeah! Fergie. <laughs> Fergie. <laughs> Fergie. <laughs> Fergie. <laughs> Ferguson Jenkins, her royal highness. Okay, go ahead, Robert, what do you want to do? Uh, let's go to channel number seven. Okay, channel seven. How dumb can you be? Let's find out. Ten points. How many orifices do you have in your head? Don't look at me. Stacy? One. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's what I like. Okay, Robert. Six. Robert? Two. Two, no. One that matters, man. <laughs> Andy? Uh, six? No. Wrong. You have... This is an orifice-minded uh, crowd here. They know. You have five. You have two nostrils, a mouth, and two ears. Those are your orifices. Welcome to them. Okay, Robert, what do you want to do? Uh, let's go to channel number nine. Channel number nine. Starsky and Hunch. Whenever crime rears its ugly head, so do these guys. Oh, that's uh, Fred, our pet cockatoo. We don't have a co cockatoo, okay? Beretta has a cockatoo. Idiot. Oh. Well, uh, what was the name of the guy who, uh, the actor who played, uh, uh, Beretta? Robert. <laughs> that was Robert Blake. 20 points. Yeah! Hey, Kenny. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I always wanted to toss Kenny the bird. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting funny in here. Or is it me? All right, Robert, what do you want to do? I think we'll hang with these guys. You know, Fellas? I, I didn't want to be on the show, Kenny. I want to be on Kojak, you know? But they wouldn't let me. I'd be stuck with this idiot. What was Kojak's ethnic background anyways? Okay, Andy. He was Greek. He was Greek. Very good. 30 points. 20 points. Excuse me, 20 points. Go ahead, Andy. What do you want to do? Uh, let's stick with this one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we gotta leave, fellas. Check the door, Starsky. It's only too deep. It's open. Okay, uh... Idiot. Let's go to channel eight now, Ken. <laughs> What's the... What was that? Who were they? <laughs> no one's Fillmore, and who was the fat guy? Okay. <laughs> What's their line? I'll give the character's name, and you tell me what they do on their respective TV show. So Here we go, ten guy. points. Lurch of the Adams Family, Robert. He was their butler. Correct, ten points. Yeah! Robert has 85, the lead, Andy has uh, 65. Stacy, still hanging with five. Go ahead, Robert. One more time. <laughs> you work in an AM radio station? <laughs> Here we go, 20 points. What's the line? Marty Gold. Ooh, it's Richard Lewis's character on Anything But Love. He's a magazine writer. Check it off, Robert. One more time. <laughs> he said it with different inflection. See that? He's, like, he's an actor. He's 30 points. J.D. Mac MacGillis. Robert. Student? No. <laughs> what are you thinking of, Doogie Hauser? <laughs> Nobody knows. A major in the Marines. No. Was that a screeching halt I just heard? No. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, go ahead. Channel three. Channel three. Back to sheer tips. Here's some more juicy gossip for my sleazy stepfather. I used to have this dream about me and Madonna and a tub of Crisco. Wow! But when I heard about her comedian buddy, hey, I got a better idea. 
How about a Tony sandwich, huh? A material girl on one side and a funny lady with lips that could strip a Chevy engine on the other. <laughs> you know what's the best part about two chicks? After Tony falls asleep, they got somebody around to talk to still, huh? Hey, who's Madonna's gal pal, who some people say is her lover, too? Andy. Sandra Bernhardt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I believe that's 30 points. Oh! Stacy. You know what? Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my mistake. Oh! Ho, ho. Stacy, you have a life. Here we go. 10 points each, this, that, or the other thing. It's time to play B. Arthur, B. G's, or B. Movie. Simply put, I'll name something, you tell me. B. Arthur, B. G's, or B. Movie. 10 points each, 20 seconds. Give me a clock. Golden Girls. Stacy. B. Arthur. Yes, how deep is your love? B. G's. Yes. Faster Pussycat, kill, kill. Stacey. Um, B-movie? Yes. Night Fever. BGs? Yes. New York Mining Disaster, 1941. B-movies? No. Andy. B. Arthur. No. Robert. B-movie. No, BGs. They saved Hitler's brain. Stacy. B-movie. Yes, 10 points. Oh, almost, Stacy. Almost. 55 points, but not far enough. Five states. Andy, Robert, 95, 85, respectively. Now you guys have a chance to wager some or all of your point total. And while you guys are figuring that out, we're going to take a look at what you're shooting for. Get big performance from a small package with Zenith Remote Control 9-inch color TV. Perfect for the kitchen or bedroom. This Zenith features an earphone and 178 channel tuning. Emerson Stereo VCR with 8 event, full year programming, 117 cable channel selections, 38 key remote and on-screen programming, fine tune with Emerson. Are you ready to shred, blast through the powder, carve up the mountain, and catch some big air with this look freestyle snowboard? Look out! The Explorer from Head Start Computers, a family personal computer with a variety of applications for home and school. Comes complete with software from Head Start Computers. Okay, we have your wagers. Here's your big bad final question of the day. Let's say that each regular Facts of Life girl weighs 207 pounds. If they're all rummaging through a Wendy's dumpster with their pal, Mrs. Garrett, who weighs 242 pounds? What's the average weight of each of the five people in that dumpster? Once again, each of the Facts of Life girls weighs 207 pounds. If they're all rummaging through a Wendy's dumpster with their pal, Mrs. Garrett, who weighs 242 pounds, what is the average weight of each of the five people in that dumpster? Figure it out. It'll be up here if you have to refer, and we're going to play some baseball. You Put your pens down, gentlemen. That's about all the time we have. Robert, put that pen down. Don't make me snap your wrist off. Okay. Ready, Andy? Robert? Okay, since Andy, or excuse me, Robert, you have 85 points, let's find out what your answer was. 1070. 1070. Incorrect. How much is your wager there, buddy? The whole farm. And what are you left with? Nothing. Yes, you have nothing. Andy, what is your answer? 234 pounds, Ken. Oh, incorrect. How much did you wager? 65 points. Which leaves you with 30 points. That means, Andy, you did it. The correct answer is 214 pounds. Fire.